Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to Tech Tested. Well, thanks to DirectX 12 and its multi-core optimization, we find ourselves asking the age-old question yet again. Which is better, AMD or Intel? The answer might actually surprise you. No, it won't. A few weeks ago, we explored the idea of how many cores DirectX 12 can actually utilize. If you want to see that video, click here. Um, and the conclusion we came to was that eight physical cores is the optimal number of cores you can have for DirectX 12 gaming. Now that left a big question to be answered. Why spend a lot of money on an Intel Extreme Edition processor when AMD has a relatively cheap eight core processor? Well, we decided to find out if AMD still has a little bit of life left to breathe out of that FX lineup. And, but first let's get a brief history on the AMD Intel rivalry. For a long time, AMD held the crown for the most powerful processor. They were also the first to come out with a 64-bit processor, and they were the first to come out with a multi-core processor. But in the late 2000s, Intel took over and has held the crown for the most powerful computer processor for quite some time now. The reason for that is most programs don't use more than one or two cores, and Intel has been focusing on their single core performance while AMD has been focusing on their multi-core performance. That game changed when Mantle was released. If you need to know more about that, we've got a video right here. What Mantle did is it took the processor workload and spread it across all the cores, and DirectX 12 followed in their footsteps. So while AMD has lagged behind for quite some time, their multi-core processors might actually come in handy with DirectX 12. And here are the benchmarks. As you can see, Intel still takes the cake. I'm sorry, AMD, but even as a Team Red fanboy, your processors just don't hold up in DirectX 12. While it's true that more cores are better for DirectX 12, CPU architecture still plays a huge role in the performance you can get. If you have an AMD processor, I don't necessarily recommend running out and going by an Intel processor just because of this video. However, if you're planning on buying a new computer with new parts, I have a really hard time recommending AMD on really any sort of level, even value. When it comes to frames per second per dollar, Intel still wins. And if you look at this price to performance chart, you're gonna see the value you get from each processor above 30 frames per second, which is considered the minimum playable frame rate. Out of the processors we've tested, it's clear to see that the i5-4690K presents the best price to performance ratio. However, if you still want the maximum performance, you might wanna go with an i7 or Xeon or something of that nature. And if you look back to our FPS chart, you'll see that AMD doesn't even reach that smooth 60 frames per second threshold that most gamers are looking for. So in the end, what should you buy? Well, unless you're going on an extremely low budget, I would highly recommend going with a Core i5 or Core i7 processor and avoiding the AMD lineup altogether. Makes me sad to say that, but I am. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and leave a comment if there's anything you'd like us to cover in the future. Hi, I'm Matt. Are you now? <laughs>